You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strive to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, June 14th, 2022. Now, this week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about some really important and fun and powerful saints that are celebrating their feast days during June. Yesterday, we talked about St. Anthony of Padua, whose feast day was yesterday. But today, we're going to go back to the beginning of the month, back to June 3rd, and we are going to talk about St. Charles Lawanga and the other Ugandan martyrs. They celebrated their feast day on June 3rd, but their story is still so powerful, such an powerful reminder to all of us just how valuable our faith is and our duty to remain true to Jesus Christ and to evangelize others, even when it is uncomfortable or even dangerous. So St. Charles Lawanga and the other Ugandan martyrs, they lived during the 1800s. So the Christian faith came to Uganda in the mid-1800s, and it was brought there predominantly by an order of priests called the White Fathers. At first, when the missionaries arrived in Uganda, they were greeted, they were accepted, and many people began to convert. But then a new king took the throne in Uganda, and this man was very immoral. He asked the people in the palace to do very immoral, sinful things. And when he learned that this was against the Christian religion, he got very angry. He began to martyr the missionaries, and he began to hunt down the Christians in his palace. When he learned that one man was instructing other people that worked for him in the faith, he killed that man instantly. And soon he told all of the people in the palace to come and assemble before him. And if they were Christians, to step to the side. He told them, You know, he said, are you determined to remain Christian even though you will die? And all 17 of them said that, yes, they would not deny Jesus, even if it meant their death. Now, Charles Lawanga, he was a brilliant young man who had been sort of handpicked to come and work for the king in the palace. He was well respected, but he was one of the first converts from these missionaries. And he was working in the palace, unknown to the king, to share the faith with other people. When the persecutions began in the palace, he actually baptized as many people as were desiring as possible. He baptized them shortly before the king rounded them all up because he knew that there were special graces that come through the sacraments. A sacrament is like a super highway of grace and that all of them would need these graces if they were going to remain strong under the coming persecution. The king had rounded up these 17 men and boys that refused to denounce Jesus. These men and boys were tortured. They were forced to walk 37 miles out into the wilderness in Uganda. And when they got there, they confronted a huge fire, a huge fire that the soldiers had built and they were forced to throw themselves into this fire and they died by being burned alive. Now that's very sad. It's very sad that anyone would have to face that just because they love Jesus. But the beautiful thing, my friends, is that although this king tried to completely wipe out Christianity in Uganda, the opposite happened. People saw how people were willing to die for Jesus and it did not make them afraid of Jesus. It made them want to know Jesus. What was so special about him that others were willing to die? Many people began to convert. And Uganda to this day is a great Christian nation. In fact, the Pope visited there several years ago. And to celebrate the feast of St. Charles Lawanga and the other martyrs, they had a giant outdoor mass with thousands upon thousands of people attending. Because the example of the martyrs is one of the most powerful things that leads 
people to Jesus. And so Sprouts, once again, let's pray through the intercession of these powerful saints, St. Charles, Lawanga, and the other Ugandan martyrs. Let us pray that we value our faith and our relationship with Jesus as much as they do. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. A huge thank you to everyone that became a patron of this podcast over the last couple of weeks. We are so grateful for your support and your willingness to offer prayers, shares, and a monthly gift. If you would still like to get in on supporting this podcast, you can find the link to do so in the notes for this episode. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit SpokeStreet.com.